Japan. See you in October. Hi there, welcome to Turner Classic Movies, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Tonight we salute two innovative filmmakers, father and son Gordon Parks and Gordon Parks Jr. Up next, a movie from the younger Parks, one of only four films he made before his death in a plane crash in 1979. From Columbia Pictures in 1974, it's Thomasine and Bush Rod. Spanning 1912 to 1915, the film tells the fictional tale of a pair of black outlaws named Thomasine and Bush Rod and their Bonnie and Clyde type exploits across Texas. The outlaws are more like Robin Hood though as they rob the rich and white and give to the poor, blacks, whites, Mexicans, Native Americans. They soon incur the wrath of a Texas sheriff who vows to bring the pair to justice, dead or alive. This was Gordon Parks Jr.'s follow up to his successful first film, Superfly, which starred Ron O'Neill as a drug dealer attempting to leave the business behind and go straight. Playing Thomasine and Bushrod are two actors familiar to fans of the black exploitation genre of the early 1970s, Max Julian and Vanetta McGee. Vanetta McGee starred in films like Hammer, Blackula, and The Big Bust Out, while Max Julian was just coming off his signature role as the ultimate ladies' man in the film The Mac. Julian also wrote and co produced this film, having performed the same duties a year earlier with another black exploitation classic, Cleopatra Jones. From 1974, also starring George Murdoch, Glenn Turman, and Juanita Moore, here's Thomasine and Bushrod. <laughs> 